<coughs> Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh. <coughs> and we are going to discussing about today's new topic that is post method, how we can able to create our playwright Python. Okay. I'm going to create the file by using post. Okay. And I'm going to copying the starting uh, lines about it. Okay. These are the lines I'm going to copy. Just pasting here. Okay. <clears throat> if you are seeing the first time, just I'm going to explain you what exactly these are the things. <laughs> this is I'm going to importing like a sync play of it. Okay. And the test method I function I created and the playwright object uh, with the reference of sync playwright. Okay. And it's not query parameter, it's not required because we are going to do for post method. Okay, and here it is basically context is an object, playwright dot request a new context. This is a request which we are going to provide. This new context will accept for base URL, which is the base URL you are going to take it right. That base URL. And the, here context dot get method is there. And if you want to do for post method means you can able to use for post method. This post method we can able to use for uh, file up, <coughs> sorry, file upload concept also we can able to use it here. If you move over in this particular one, it will fetch the documentation, you can see it will take the params. If you have something params for this post call, you can able to provide. If you want to provide for URL, you can pass the URL. <coughs> Headers are data. Data is nothing but JSON data. JSON or XML, any kind of data, you can able to pass it. And form, which is a form like uh, any form data is presented, that you can able to. And multi-part. In the multi-part, it will ask you for a which kind of file uploading you are doing, right? That is multi-part options, okay? If you want to ignore any kind of HTTP requests, okay, that you can able to mention here. These all the things you can able to mention in this particular shape place. Okay, in the first place, base URL I passed and remaining URL here, and we need to pass it for data. Okay. This is the data I'm going to pass it. This is a post method. Okay, if you hit if you, that URL is already presented or email. If email is already presented, if you hit this one, you can able to see four double two, it will come the status. And the message says that has already have been email. Okay, this particular email already taken. This is the one it will display. Okay, how you can able to rectify this on the things. <clears throat> Here I'm going to create a data object and then curly braces. I have already copied curly brace also. Just paste it. Okay. And then after colons, just give me one space. Okay. <clears throat> the status is four double two. This is not required right now. Okay. You can see now, this all the things are ready. And where we need to pass it, this after headers, we can able to make it one comma and mention for data equal to data okay and just save it and come to no terminals and mention for test underscore pi test and if you run the status will be pass it see now passed because of it there's a status is four double two okay now how to rectify if you created with a different name, different email ID. Now I'm going to create the different email ID. Now you can able to see 200 will be comes to here. Just I'm going to make it here. Sorry, 201. And mention any number here. and verify. See, now it is passed to not one and created. Okay. <clears throat> but 
every runtime we are going to change this email id then how to rectify this kind of uh, things in real time right for this we have uh, this is a default email if you run again it will give you for 422 okay then how we can able to resolve this kind of issues we can able to create some random string in this particular one which is a constant you have that you can able to keep it there and use it okay how we can able to do it means we can able to create for one random this random basically is a default in like python having for this random one you can able to use it okay after that create one email i'm going to create the email name it is okay and empty string a dot dot join okay dot join i'm going to use it inside the join i'm going to use for random dot choices okay inside the choices i need to importing for string <clears throat> dot and see uppercase space plus space again string dot digits okay then comma and how many keys you want that you need to specify by using k keyword okay in the k keyword you can able to mention for how many values you want okay this value you can able to use it and you can able to implement how many times you want you can able to use it but this data it is present in top how we can able to use it means you can just can take this entire information and go to top paste it okay and they take the email and comes to here i'm just i'm going to mention here again double quotation and plus symbol pasting my value again plus and double quotation closed okay <clears throat> now see now pass okay then how we can able to verify our response value then there is a method we already i showed you in that like my previous videos just this is the format we can able to get the name and we can able to validate it okay in the response which is the email id name it will be there the email which you pass right this is the email id you are passing just copy that email id and paste it here <laughs> if it is equal then it will pass it otherwise it will fail it okay it is make something different oh sorry we are verifying name we are not verifying the email sorry field is email <clears throat> now you can see no pass okay which email id it is taken for the when it is going to create the user the similar user it is taken okay there is a one kind of one we can pass the json here okay but in real time we can't use the json here because we need to use some json payloader and there too we need to copy everything okay how we can able to do it i'm going to creating for this is a third kind of uh, option <clears throat> i'm going to mention for json file okay in that json file location again i'm going to right click on the folder and file create user.json okay now my json is here i'm just i'm going to post method here i'm just copying this one and here i'm going to paste it okay my json is ready here now we need to make it for proper format okay now my value is presented here but i need to change here the value 
okay e name and email id i need to change if you want to change a mail or uh, the gender also you can able to change this active inactive also you can able to change it okay how to consume here now i don't want to do this kind of operation but i want to get for runtime how we can able to do it just comment this particular one it's not coming Now everything is commented. Now I need to read data from file. For this, I need to use for with. Okay, with I'm going to make it for open function. In this open function, it will take a file path. Dot indicates that current project to forward slash, and my folder is JSON path. Again, to forward slash create user dot json is my file okay then comma and i need to mention for or inside that because we need to read as read underscore file this is my object okay <clears throat> then again i'm going to use it here what exactly we can able to use it and here i'm going to use for data again equal to json dot load okay but before doing this all of this okay it's already imported when i used it is default is coming okay i'm going to make it for read file object okay once i read file then i need to which one i need to replace it i want to replace for email and i'm mentioning the email what email you want to replace and this is my replace okay this is your email response you want to change it and in case if you want to make it for name also just make it for name and change what all the name you want you can able to change it okay it will change and it will store into that particular data location okay now i'm changing only for email okay practice in your side uh, email also and verify it in the verify also you can able to mention uh, one more assert by using replacing for email location that name and make it for which is a name object you are creating here right changing name is same thing you can able to use it here okay this is all about you have to do it just save it okay and again go to here and run your application no such file directory why why no such directory json oh sorry json path and json file that is a name see now again it is passed as simplest right <clears throat> This is the three format I showed you, okay, which is hard coding here the value and taking from that file also, JSON file. Okay, I don't have any XML uh, related uh, APIs, that's why I'm not doing for that. In case if you have, just comment on this video, I'll make for you one particular video for that, okay? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues. Thank you.